Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. My name is Rachel Ray and today I have something fun to show you. This is a beaded embroidery kit from All About Embroidery UA on Amazon.com. I'll have the links down below. This is a Ukrainian store and I decided that I wanted to support my favorite makers and so I went ahead and purchased from them. You can find them here on Facebook. They're also on Etsy, but on the Etsy store, it obviously says that they're taking a break, which I totally understand. But I hope that by purchasing this from Amazon that their commission will come through and help them. So are you ready to see which one I got? I hope you enjoy it. This is a fractal kit. It was the one that I liked the most from the website. So it looks like, ooh, so we've got a silk canvas. Look at that. And we've got our beads. I'm going to look at those in just a moment. Let me get the plastic off and I'll show you up close. All right. Have a look at those colors. Isn't it beautiful? So this is the kind of kit where, well, one, I'm probably going to need to do some ironing because it's a little bent that's all right. This is the kit where you just take a strand and you, um, you beat it. So you're going to be doing one line at a time of a certain color. And I think that this will be really relaxing to do compared to the other beaded cross stitch kit that I have, which is nothing but confetti. And it is a little bit difficult to do. So this design is gorgeous. I love it. I like the feel of it as well. I had been eyeing these sorts of beaded cross stitch kits for a long time, um, but because of what's happening in the world right now, I finally decided to pull the plug. I think that this cost me about $50 US, and that's because these beads, these are really, really good quality beads. Um, I believe that they're called Czech Beads. Let me just double check that box. It says it on the top. Check beads. Precio, precio. Sorry, I can't say that. Preciosa, preciosa, Ornella. Let me show you those colors. Oh, and they're so pretty. So as you can see here, it gives you instructions for how to work the beads. You come up through the bottom attach your bead and then go back down and go up and down and up and down and that's going to secure it. It's also known as the back stitch. Here we have the legend, so 14 colors. There's no scroll frame, but you should probably use a scroll frame. Do not use round hoops to avoid damaging the printed area. So work in hand or work with a scroll frame is the best, the best idea. So this is a 41 by 41 centimeter kit. And in here they have Madeira floss. This is a clear floss. I don't know if it'll focus very well. And they've also given us a beading needle. Beading needles are exceptionally sharp. <laughs> please, please, please be careful. Let's see, so we've got one, two, three, four, five. Let's see, there's eight, nine, ten. There's seven. Oh my gosh, look at that beautiful color. I'll show you in a second. Twelve, thirteen, fourteen. Then we have eleven. And six, so five, 10, 14. Wonderful, let's look at these colors. <gasps> Gorgeous, That's so pretty. And they look so even, those holes, compared to the kit that I got from China, uh, those speeds are very uneven, very, very uneven. So these already are a huge, a huge improvement. This one looks almost matte. These are kind of like an AB, uh, Aurora Borealis, where they have kind of like this shimmer, they change color. We have this green as well, which almost looks like a mix. 
We've got a kind of a light teal or mint. And this is very cool. On the inside, if you look very carefully, you can see that there's a darker color on the inside. Isn't that cool? I don't know what that's called. And we have this peach. We have a bright orange. And you can see that one has an AB coating on it as well. It's kind of like the color 606. Number eight is this kind of cranberry maroon. It's a little darker in person. Then we get purples. So pretty. We've got a matte purple as well. Then we come into the blues. Oh, that's a gorgeous royal blue. And then we have the AB version. So pretty. Luna's going to cough. <laughs> We've got kind of this clear AB light blue. And then we have the AB white, which I don't think it's coming out very well on camera. It looks on camera. It looks like this is just white, but in person, oh, there we go. Can you see the little bit of shimmer there in the camera? It's actually a little bit more shimmery in person. Wow, that's really cool. So those are the beads. That is the floss, the legend. And I wonder, would you like to see a little bit of how this works? I think that might be helpful. So let me go ahead and set up and show you how to start. Let's go ahead and thread the needle. So as you can see, this is the floss here. I'm just going to take about this much and snip it there. Now, some people will have different methods for starting. I'm just going to try to make a knot. If I can't make a knot, then we'll have to see. I'm sure that you could also do a, um, you could double this thread if you want, but it's very, very strong thread. So I've just accidentally made a knot. Here we go. Let's see how we don't, we want it to be nice and firm like that. Let's hope for the best. With beading needles, like I said, it's super duper sharp. So you might find that using a thimble or find using, there's um, such a thing as these little pads that you can put on your fingers or even using band-aids, banded like finger bandages, plasters, whatever you'd like to call them. You can use them as well. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and cut off the excess here and then we're going to get our color. I'm going to start with this pink and according to the legend the pink is number eight which is actually that beautiful maroon color. Look at that. So pretty. Now if you are a diamond painter you might have those little trays around so we're going to get one of them. Alrighty let's pour a few of these. We only need three, six, nine, ten. So we only need ten of them, so I'm just going to pour about that many and then close up that bag. <laughs> we do not want to overdo it. So what are we doing? We are going to go up, down, and then up, down like this. So I'll show you. I'm going to come in from the back and I'm going to find a good place to come up. Ooh, yes, that is very sharp. Okay, so we come up, grab a bead from your tray. I hope you can see very, at least a little bit here. There we go. And then we're gonna go down between the two, right here. And then without moving the needle, I'm gonna actually Go to the next one. I'm going to try anyway. 
to come up other side of the second hole there. Then we grab another seed bead with the needle. It would actually be easier if I turn that because it's further away. Then we go down where we had gone down before. And then I'm going to turn it so that I'm coming up on the other side of the third little seed bead. And as you, as you can see, this, this is actually quite hard. Now you can use it without stitching in hand. You could stitch with the scroll rod and use two hands. I find that to be a little bit easier. I'm going to show you what it looks like two-handed. So pick up your bead. The one thing that you need to remember when you do it this way is that you don't pick up a bead on the back side. I have done this before. So you go down. Then you come up. Remember, we're going to go on the furthest side of the next symbol and try to get it as center as possible. And then pick up your bead. And this is how we do beaded cross stitch. I'm going to go ahead and use the same hand because I am right handed and it's much faster for me to just use the same hand, especially with something so intricate. But do you see the, the effect is just divine. I, I've always wanted one like this, this kind of partial kit that has just long lines of beads. I think that it's going to look Amazing, And I think that it would be nice and easy to zone out to listen to podcasts or other YouTubers or, uh, you know, do whatever it is that you want to do where you don't need to be paying attention to a chart or, you know, anything like that. But so far, this is fa fantastic. I really like this fabric. It's sturdy. Um, it's not silky. I thought that it was going to be silky, but it's actually kind of a mixture. I don't even know what kind of fabric this is. But you can see it's very, um, it's like cotton on the back. On the front, it feels like silk. But on the back, we've got this very sturdy kind of cotton. Polyester, maybe, I think is more, more likely. These kits were made um, by that shop, All About Embroidery AU. The images are, are not uh, stolen artwork, so that's why I decided to go with them and why I wanted their kits all along. I really hope that they're able to come back soon um, to, to offer us more beaded cross stitch because, or beaded embroidery because... I really think that it's made a comeback, even though <laughs> I have neglected my own uh, beaded cross stitch personally. Now, how are we going to end this thread? Let's see how it looks. So pretty. It could be straighter, but just for the purposes of demonstration, I really don't think that the, they need to be straight lines because they're all wavy anyway, right? We're going to go to the back side. I'm going to try to be very careful here uh, and I'm going to weave, weave through that fabric but so that you don't see the needle on the front side. And I'm going to try to make a kind of a knot here and I'm going to knot it several times. On these, I don't mind making knots. I'd rather not make knots on a cross stitch, but this this thread is so sturdy and thin, 
at the same time that they just want to go ahead and knot it. If you know a better way, please tell me in the comments. I would love to know. As I am, I am very new at all of this and I'm learning every day. <laughs> I do not mind. There we go. And that is nice and secure now. I'm gonna go ahead and put that needle over there and cut my thread. And voila. Looks really good. I like it a lot. So what do you think? Truthfully, I think that this is going to look fantastic when it is completed. And I don't think it would take too much time either. I think that this could be done in a relatively short amount of time and also be very relaxing and meditative. So let me know what you think down below in the comment section. If you're interested, I will have the link down below. Hopefully there's some still left in stock in case you are interested. Uh, but please go ahead and give them, um, put it in your favorites or in your wish list to be notified when it comes back in stock. I hope you have a wonderful day, a wonderful week, and I will see you all soon in my next one. Take care, everyone. Bye.